Hi guys, welcome to Nay's Days. I am Nay. Thank you for coming and checking out my channel and also watching this video. I hope you guys watch the whole video because it is very important to me and I am just so confused. What is going on? So this past week, we have had almost 10 deaths by people running the red flashing lights on a school bus and killing innocent children. I am so heartbroken over this. My kids are my life as well as your kids are your life. And school buses help our children get to school and that is their safe space. And so when I put my kids on the bus, I know that they're gonna be safe. These innocent children are going to the bus stop, so excited to go to school. Coming to find out, someone is running the flashing red lights. Guys, the yellow bus is so big. It has flashing lights and they're red to get your attention. Put your phone down, pay attention when driving. I know that when you are running late to work, you get stuck behind a bus that stops at every single house it seems like. I get it. I get frustrated too. However, I would never pass a bus with or without lights on. In the different states, there's Indiana and Florida and Pennsylvania, that people are running these red lights. Come on guys. They're flashing lights. There's children. What if your child got hurt? Would you, you would be incredibly upset. These kids, I, I cannot imagine what these parents and families are going through because I couldn't imagine going through that myself. I walk right into the bus. I mean, luckily his bus stop is right outside our house. It wasn't that way when we first got it. When I first got it, it was down the street on a busy intersection. What were they thinking? I have no idea. So I went to the transportation department and I fought for Brayden to have his bus stop right outside our house. We live on a main street and our neighbor, same grade. So why not put our bus stop right outside our house? We're the only bus stop right here. Why walk down the street? And I would never, even if I lived on a not busy street, never have my kids cross the street. I think that is the stupidest idea ever. I used to have to cross the street when I grew up and I felt so unsafe doing that because you never know, is that car gonna stop? Is it gonna keep going? Like, it is just crazy that people are passing the buses and like children are walking across the street to get on their bus. I think that there needs to be a change. I think that people need to fight for their children's safety. You need to go to the, your transportation department and tell them that you do not want your kids crossing the street. It is not safe. And especially kids who are four, five, six, seven, even teenagers. This is crazy. You should not have to cross the street in order to get on the bus. The bus should be parked on the street. It is just crazy. So I know a few buses what they're doing is they are parking diagonal so you cannot pass them. That is a smart idea. I hope a lot of people actually pay attention to that and don't hit the bus full of children. And one night I was talking to John and I said, hey, there has to be a way that people will pay attention. So with the flashing lights and also the arm going out for people not to walk directly in front of the bus, but like walk at least five feet in front of the bus, to have something come down on the side of the bus that is in the other lane so they don't have to go diagonal but so it's to the side of the bus. And then the next day I saw this. It is amazing. So incredibly smart. Two arms that go down with flashing lights to get their attention. I know that I posted it on a few Facebook groups that I'm in and a lot of people said that this is amazing, people should do this. So go to your transportation department and give them this idea because it is gonna save your children's life. And I hope that these school bus stop accidents stop. 
And when you see those red flashing lights, that means stop, do not pass them because you may hurt another child and you're gonna end up hurting yourself by going to jail for hurting, for killing them. So just don't do it. So if you see those red lights flashing, don't be passing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I don't have to hear another story again. It was just so much, so quickly. And anytime that anything happens with children, I think about my children and I just could not go through that. One family lost three of their siblings. Now the father of three is a father of none. You just wiped away their whole family. Ridiculous. Don't do it. Stop. Red means stop. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I hope it was very informational and that you pass this along. Share it to your friends because we cannot have these innocent children dying for adults stupidity. Always think positive, never give up, live life to the fullest, and I will see you when I see you. Bye.